Hi friends, in my previous session I have shown how to retrieve properties from git repo and how to consume in the client application. So now I am going to show how to secure the config server. So I am going to update my maven dependency. Uh, Spring provides security by using uh, Spring uh, boot starter security maven dependency. So I am going to add that dependency. So I am going to add uh, Spring Security dependency to pom.xml. So I will go and check. So if we see now we have config server and uh, starter security. So now I am going to start the application. The application is started. Spring has created the default security password. So it gives the default user as a username as user and password is created in the application. So I am going to post now. So I am going to hit the URL. So it's saying I am unauthorized. So I am going to update with basic authentication. Username is user and password is uh, application created default password. Update the request now here. So I'm able to retrieve app and db dot properties and application dot properties. This is the default one. So I'm coming to application. So instead of default username and password, I'm going to add uh, my own uh, properties, username, password, password. So I'm going. The uh, security is enabled. True. Hi friends, in my previous session I have shown how to create Spring Cloud Config Server using Git properties and how to consume that properties. So now I am going to show how to secure the config server. So Spring by default gives uh, security dependency. Uh, so now I am going to update my Maven dependency. So Spring boot spring starter security so it added uh, starter security to our pom.xml i'm going to start the application So the application is started and Spring has created default security password. The default username is user and password is this. So I am going to postman and hit the URL. So I am getting 401 unauthorized. So I am not authorized to hit this URL. So I am going to add uh, authentication detail. So default user is user which spring given and the password update the request and hit so I'm able to retrieve app db properties and application of properties in case if I want to disable the spring uh, security 
I can disable by adding spring dot security dot uh, enable equal to false security Security dot basic dot enabled equal to by default it will be true so I'm saying false and I'm going to restart the application. The application is started. I'll go to Postman. I'll change it to no app and I will hit the URL. So I'm able to read to the property file. So if we don't want any authentication, anytime we can set uh, security dot basic dot enabled equal to one. So the authentication will be removed from the application. Now I'm going to add my own username and password instead of default usernames. So I'm going to make this true. I'm giving root user password also root user save the application and start So this time it is not created the default password for us because we have configured the password in the application.ml file. So I'm coming to Postman and hitting the URL. So if I use not, it says unauthorized. So I have to go with basic authentication. So we are able to retrieve the property file. So now I'll go and start my client application. I'll check what will happen. In client application, in the application properties, we have added the port name of the application and the name of application. This is the property file, it will look right. And I have used the profile as a dev. So it will try to look the dev property file. If it is not there, it will take the default properties. And the URI we have configured is so localhost 88. So it's up and running. So I'm going to start my client application. So if we see, fetching config server at uh, localhost 88, and we got 401. 401 means unauthorized. So, it is not able to retrieve properties from the uh, secure server. So now, I am going to add my username and password to this. So I have added username and password. I'm going to start the application. So 
see now it is able to retrieve the properties so it's saying the name is app and db and profile is stub in the composite source if we see it able to retrieve app and db properties and app and db and the default properties so i'll come to postman and i will hit so our rest control is in db url so i'm going to hit sorry it is uh, client is running on 8080 so i'm able to retrieve driver class name password url and user that is what there in the my rest end point of db uh, thank you friends